subscribe. If you enjoy videos of me and my friends get jobs that we know we will enjoy doing. Also, be sure and like, share this video, post a comment in the comments section, and click the bell notification. Without further ado, enjoy the show. I've been spending the last hour or two looking for jobs here on Indeed.com, and has it been a big waste of time? There is nothing that interests me, no openings for school teacher because the school year is already underway, and there isn't even an opening to be a tutor, unless I want to be self-employed as one. I can't even apply to be a school bus driver for a couple of reasons. First of all, Go Animate City Public Schools has already filled that position, and that was only after that one bus driver retired at the end of last school year. And second of all, they probably won't hire someone who has recently been terminated from their teaching job. So if I want to be a bus driver or a school teacher, I'll have to look beyond Go Animate City. And even then, some districts are not looking for new teachers yet. Seriously, I've run out of options, and I don't really know what to do anymore. My life has been so boring ever since I was terminated from the high school. Wait a minute, do you know what I was thinking? I remember that Karen and Taryn gave me the password for the transportation director's email. So I am going to log into his email and tell the superintendent that the transportation director is going to resign from his position, but using first person. Then, I will put a reminder for the school board meeting to mention that I will be approved as the new transportation director. Once I'm on the job, I will then replace the current school bus drivers for GoAnimate City Public Schools with entitled Karens and Troublemakers, so that all of the students who take the bus to and from school will be grounded for very ridiculous reasons. Ha 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 Now, let's get down to business and log into the transportation director's email account and then write the resignation email to the superintendent. Oh good, I'm able to log in, and now, let's take care of some business, writing the resignation email. Or, I have an even better idea. I'm going to call the superintendent all kinds of names, using the transportation director's email. And I know for certain that the superintendent will either terminate the transportation director or make him resign. All right, I just sent the email to Superintendent Chandler. Now, I can't wait to see the look on the transportation director's face when he is asked to resign from his job or gets terminated. Director Dave, come to my office. I need to discuss something very important with you. Oh my goodness, Superintendent Chandler, 
Why are you so angry with me right now? What in the world did I do? Don't play dumb with me. Let me explain what you did. Listen carefully. Dave, last night, you sent me an email that was very insulting, not to mention very unprofessional. What are you talking about? I never did such a thing. Somebody hacked my email account. Also, do not lie to me or make up lame excuses. You know exactly what you did. And did you even read your email this morning? No, I didn't. Well, that's the reason I came to your desk and brought you to my office, so that we can have this discussion. Usually, you behave very well on this job, but last night, for some reason, you decided to call me all sorts of names, and you did it with your school email address. Like I said, there is absolutely no way this could have been me. Hey, what did I tell you about lying and making excuses? Perhaps, if I show you the email you sent me last night, you will get a better understanding. Let me get out my laptop, and then stand by me. Now, come over here. I will now show you once again the email you sent me. Superintendent. For the second time, there is no way that I could have sent you an insulting email. Really. What I was doing was filling out some paperwork in my home office. You're not allowed to be sending unprofessional emails with a school account. It's only for business-related purposes. Dave, you have only two choices. Either I terminate you from your current position, or you resign as the transportation director no later than Thursday. Your choice. I'm going to resign this Thursday. In this case, you will still be the director of transportation until the day. And when you resign, you are required to hand in your badge and your work laptop. Now, you are free to go. Yes, Dave just resigned as the director of transportation at Goanimate City Public Schools, and the next board meeting will be in a few days. Now, it's time to change the document used for the meeting so that I will be named the new Director of Transportation. I now changed the document. The only thing left is to replace the original with the revised version, and from there, I will be named the new Director of Transportation for the school district. My friends Karen and Taryn will be bus drivers once again, because they're entitled to everything in the world. Before we adjourn this meeting, I would like to announce that Miss Martin, a former teacher at Goanimate City High School, is now named the Director of Transportation for the school district. Congratulations! and we wish you well on the job. With that said, meeting adjourned. Good morning, Karen, Taryn, and my troublemaking friends. Welcome to the Transportation Department at Goanimate City Public Schools. Before I assign your positions, I will be explaining each one. The positions will be driving a regular bus, being a bus attendant, Transportation Dispatcher, the Assistant Transportation Director. Karen, you will be driving Bus 91. Taryn, you will be the bus attendant with Karen. Joel, you will be the driver on Bus 46. Arthur, you're the Transportation Dispatcher. Chorus, you will be assigned Bus Number 25. Taurus, you're the Assistant Transportation Director. And DW. You will be driving Van 100 to take special education students to and from the special school. Now, meeting adjourned, and you all can now start working. Karen, my best friend. At long last, we got our bus back, after the old bus driver refused to give it to us. I know. I am so happy for this moment, and I didn't think it would ever happen. But finally, 
we are getting everything we want, once again, thanks to Miss Martin becoming the Director of Transportation. Now, this school bus is ours, so we get to make the students follow all of our rules, or get grounded for infinity. Not only that, we're allowed to have any conversation we want with base, no matter if it's an emergency or not. You got that right, my best friend, Taryn. It's our school bus, so we get to do whatever we want. And it's the students who have to obey our rules and understand that the world revolves around us. Daisy, Cody, I didn't realize this until now, but did you hear that Miss Martin is now the Director of Transportation for the schools? No, I didn't, and I think you've got to be kidding. Are you serious? I just saw it on the school website this morning, and I have a really good feeling that she hired troublemakers or even entitled Karens to be the bus drivers. And as always, she probably did something to get the current director terminated. Wait, Karen, and Taryn, how in the world did you become bus drivers? I thought that number one. You weren't even qualified to drive school buses, and second of all, the school district isn't looking for new bus drivers now that we're already a few weeks into the school year. Rosie, shut up. You do realize that we now own the school bus, and therefore we can do anything we want while driving it. No, this is not your school bus. It belongs to Go Animate City Public Schools, and it's your duty to transport students to school and back to their homes. No, we don't have to take anyone to school. And as a matter of fact, get off our bus right now. You're trespassing onto our property. You're acting very ridiculous right now. What you two are saying does not make any sense at all. The students have to get to school in a timely manner, and you're just sitting here at our bus stop. More likely than not, we're going to be late to first period if you don't let us go to our seats. Oh 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 how dare you call us deluded and ridiculous. That's it. I'm going to let Bass know that you're misbehaving, and he's going to ask me to tell you all to get off the bus. 91 to Bass, I have three students who will not take their seats. They're calling me all sorts of names, throwing things in the bus, and worse, they tried to beat me up, and they said they were going to take my business Android phone so that they can play video games on it. Bass to 91. Have the students who are misbehaving get off the bus. 10-4. Thank you. All right, you three. It is time to step off of the bus, right now. And don't even think about asking your parents for a ride to school. Also, I own the city buses, Uber, and Lyft, so you won't be able to use those either. Well then. I guess we're going to have to ask mom to drive us to school. These entitled Karens took over our school bus. Mom, can you come here for a second? What is wrong, kids? I thought you were on the bus headed to school. Well, we did board the bus. However, instead of the usual bus driver, there were two entitled Karens, and both of them kicked us off the bus because they claimed they owned the bus. Are you certain? Yes. After Karen kicked us off the bus, she drove off, and I bet that the students who ride bus 91 to school are likely going to be late to first period. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. In that case, would you like me to take you school instead? I don't want to say this, but that is our only other option. We can't miss our first classes, especially since Daisy has an exam, and she can't arrive late. In that case, Let's get into the car, and I will take you all to school. I can't believe what is happening on the school buses. Now, it's time to pick up some students because I need to take them to school. Any student who isn't on my side will be grounded for triple infinity. The bus is going to be here any minute, and it better not be running late, even though I will be excused for being late for first period because the bus was running late.
Good morning. Wait, what? You look like Arthur's sister, how in the world are you driving the van to school? Hey, don't you question me. I was hired to drive the van to pick up and drop off special education students. DW, you're only a sophomore in high school, and did you even take driver's education yet? What did I tell you? Stop telling me what to do. I am the bus driver, now go take your seat, and you're grounded for five million centuries. And another thing, you're not my parents, so you can't ground me. Shut up, I don't care if I'm your parent or not. I've grounded you, and now let's get you to school. Alright kids, before I take you all to school, I will go over the new bus rules, so listen carefully. Number 1, keep your feet out of the aisles, and keep them off of the seat back in front of you. Number 2, no playing music at the highest volume, use earbuds or headphones. Number 4, do not criticize how I drive the bus. I own this school bus, so I can drive it however I want. If you criticize me, you will spend an hour in bus detention with chorus. And you will also be grounded for triple infinity. But you're not my dad. I don't care if I'm your dad. I can ground you whenever I want. And for talking back to me, you're going to spend an hour in bus detention when we arrive to school. And the fifth rule, no talking back to me, like one of you just did. If you do, then you will not only go to bus detention, you will also be grounded for a billion centuries. Now. Let's take you all to school. Oh 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 You are all grounded 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 for one eight seven four five one eight nine zero six three four two four nine zero three nine five four eight six four two three two nine two four two zero seven eight four six two five three nine zero six four five eight nine four two five one zero nine zero eight seven six three one zero nine two billion years. Now go to your classrooms, and I don't care if you miss first period. Something is obviously not going the way things should be. Miss Martin has replaced all the bus drivers with troublemakers and entitled Karens. And several students are going to be an hour late to their classes. Something very strange is going on, and I think Miss Martin probably did something to get rid of the old director of transportation. I'm starting to think Miss Martin might have done something with the director's email account to make it look like he was insulting me. I have to check the IP address of that email, because now I'm starting to realize that someone else is behind creating all of this chaos. Let's take a closer look. I was right. I knew Miss Martin had something to do with this. Miss Martin would do this. She's going to be in so much trouble. I'm going to call her into my office right now. Good. Everything is going exactly the way I want things to be going. The students are getting grounded, except for the ones who are on our side, like Henry. And they're even having to spend an hour in bus detention. They deserve to miss first period. Excuse me, sir, but can I help you with anything? Miss Martin, don't you play those kinds of games with me. I need to speak with you in my office. It is very important. Go away. This is my office, and nobody except the bus drivers are allowed in here. Go away, 
or I am going to sue you for $500,000. No, you don't own office, and you did something to cause the director of transportation to resign from his position, just so that you can act as the transportation director and replace the bus drivers with entitled troublemakers. Well, I own Goanimate City Public Schools, and therefore, I own all of the school buses. Dave does not deserve to be the director of transportation. That's why he resigned, because he would not give my friends any opportunities to be a school bus driver. Liar. Most of those troublemakers didn't apply to be a bus driver in the first place. Only Karen and Taryn did, and they did it in a sneaky way. That's why I got them terminated from their jobs. No, you're the one who is lying, not me. Now, do you want me to make grounded videos out of you in the future? Go ahead and try, but they won't make me angry, one bit. Anyways, back to topic. Because this is the second, if not the third time you did something sneaky to get rid of current staff members at Galanime City Public Schools, I have no choice but to call the police and have you taken into custody. Help, help, help. Somebody please, help me. The superintendent is trying to take everything out of my desk, so that he can sell it on eBay for $10,000. Help, help, help. Furthermore, I am very tired of your Karen tantrums already. Now, I'm going to call the police, and don't go anywhere, until the police show up. It's going to take around 15 to 20 minutes. Miss Martin, this is, I think, the tenth time that I have caught you causing a lot of trouble for the community. You're under arrest, this time for having the director of transportation resign, and acting as the new director, while hiring annoying entitled troublemakers to be school bus drivers, and making the students late for their classes. Come with me to the police car, right now. Just you wait right there. I'm going to find more ways to get whatever I want because the world revolves around me. Let's see who I got a text message from. Daisy, Cody, I have some really good news. Come here for a second. What is it, Rosie? I just received a message from Superintendent Chandler, and from what he told us, Miss Martin has gotten arrested for what she did to get the Director of Transportation to resign from his job. The Transportation Director is back working again, and the regular bus drivers will be driving us to school and back home once again, no more entitled troublemakers. That is very good news, indeed. Thanks for telling us, Rosie. I hope this will teach Miss Martin a very big lesson, because she needs to understand that the world doesn't revolve around her. Anyways. We better get back to doing our homework. But we will see you when we have dinner. Good morning, Mr. Marquez. Good morning, Rosie, Daisy, and Cody.